what a time to be visiting one of your closest allies. On the same day, you're accused of spying on them. John Kerry has come to Paris for a meeting with Arab League representatives, but it's the latest revelations from US fugitive Edward Snowden that is overshadowing the Secretary of State's trip. Le Mans' report was written by the outgoing Guardian journalist Glenn Greenwald, who's worked closest with Snowden to lift the lid on the NSA's work. The latest leaked documents refer to a secret program known as US 985D. Between December and January, it's revealed the agency monitored over 70 million phone calls in France. Today, the US ambassador was summoned for an explanation. Not only is it alleged the NSA was snooping on suspected terrorists, but also on senior business figures and members of the French government. This type of activity between allies, which also infringes one's private life, is totally unacceptable, said the foreign minister Laurent Fabius. We need to be assured, he said, it is going to stop. France and the US are working closely on Syria and on terrorism, and Mr Kerry will not want today's row undermining that ongoing cooperation. Protecting the security of our citizens in today's world is a very complicated, very challenging task, and our goal is always to try to find the right balance between protecting the security and the privacy of our citizens. The European leaders have been criticized for prioritizing their close relations with the United States over the interests of their own citizens. But as this spying scandal grows, it becomes harder to ignore such widespread and uninhibited surveillance. Having said that, as President Obama noted, these same leaders are only too aware their own intelligence agencies are involved in similar activity. Mr. Kerry will meet the French Foreign Minister tomorrow. The European Union is busy preparing its own response. On Thursday, leaders will be gathering in Brussels for a summit on the digital economy. And tonight, President Hollande's ministers are suggesting France will be pushing for much tighter protection of data and telecommunications. Christian Fraser, BBC News, Paris.